Bonjour les amis Bonjour, bienvenue Impromptu stroll Because I am in a special place and it was too beautiful not to share with my online friends Bienvenue les amis, I am in a tour back in tour in the Loire Valley for a couple of a uh, couple of days to take care of some uh, personal business and I just walked through a beautiful place so I thought I would circle it around again <laughs> just so you can enjoy it as well I know it's been a busy week for many of you the weekend is around the corner and I thought you might enjoy a stroll in this uh, very beautiful and very peaceful place in the heart of Tours. This is the main entrance. We are at Le Jardin des Prébandes. And I will show you how it's spelled so I don't have to spell it. <laughs> Les Prébandes. This is exactly where we are. As you can see, this is a major deal when you have the Jardin Remarquable, Remarkable Garden of France Award. It means you are a pretty special place and other uh, gardens and chateaux have that title, hold that title in the Loire Valley, like Villandry, if you've been there. But Le Jardin des Prébandes in Tours has it as well. So, if you are ready, I will start this stroll with you today because the sun came out and it was pouring yesterday. Bonjour, bonjour, I see you pop in. It was pouring yesterday, pouring overnight. And I was, uh, I had a couple of meetings this morning and then I walked through this garden and thought, oh, they would love to see this. So I came back this afternoon to show you this beautiful Jardin des Prébandes. This is a garden that was created on former swampy land, I might say, where people used to grow vegetables. And to be allowed to grow vegetables here uh, in the Ancien Régime, what we call the Ancien Régime, which is roughly the time from the French Renaissance to the French Revolution, they had to pay a tax. It was like money. So the name Prébande comes from that. That's, what, that's the money the gardeners had to give to the authorities to be allowed to uh, to work the land here. But in the 19th century, they decided, the city of Tours decided to turn this into a beautiful garden. And um, they asked a gentleman named Eugène Buller. I hope I'm not killing his name. You may or may not know him, but I found out that Eugène Buller was actually the landscaper who designed the beautiful Parc de la Tête d'Or in Lyon. If you've been to the city of Lyon and have made it to the northeastern section of Lyon and have explored the giant park up there, this is the same gentleman who designed this park. Now, if you come to Tours in the Loire Valley, you will hear of Les Prébandes, not just as the garden, but also as the whole neighborhood. And to be fair, from what I've heard, this is a very a pretty upscale neighborhood, pretty bourgeois, you might say. In fact, somebody said it's like the 16th arrondissement in Paris. And it's not hard to believe when you see the beautiful architecture around the square, fairly stately home. No doubt some of them were former hotel or hotel particulier, private mansions. And I'm sure they are extremely coveted now. So this is not one of the cheapest places to live in Tours, but once you've explored the garden with me for a little while, for a few minutes, you will understand why. So here we are in Le Jardin des Prébandes in Tours, Loire Valley. It's a short TGV ride away from Paris, an hour and 20 minutes if you catch a non-stop train. Very easy to come to Tours. And if some of you recall, I was here right before Christmas and I took you on a night a tour of the city of Tours with the beautiful Christmas illuminations. And you can go back to that stroll 
either here on Facebook in the video section of this page or on my YouTube channel. What I like is that they have photos all of, over the park where you can see what they tried to create in the 19th century. So this park was designed as happened a lot then uh, in the English garden style. So you have the photos of, from way back when and then you can look up and see what it looks like today. For those of you who have just arrived, my name is Véronique. My friends call me Véro. I am a multitasker based in Paris, France, who loves to share Paris, but also the rest of France, my homeland, with um, my followers and viewers. And I do this on a regular basis on social media, as well as on in live strolls, live stream strolls like this one, on my blog, French Girl in Seattle, and so forth. Once I get off the air, all the information will be in the video notes if you want to know more about what I do or see more walks like this one. Now, like I said, the inspiration for a lot of these parks in the late 19th century were English gardens. And so part of the deal is that those romantic style gardens would have features like grottoes, waterfalls, suspended bridges. You've seen those in Paris, for example, at the Butte Chaumont. And look at this corner here. Bonjour, bonjour, welcome. Now a sign reminds you, in case you would, in case you're tempted, eau non potable. That means you cannot drink the water. Oh, I'm so lucky. We are so lucky with the weather because it was really raining. Look at the water. Look at this huge puddle there. It rained overnight. It was just pouring. So, Georges Bouler created this park in the 1870s. It took uh, two or three years to uh, design it and develop it. And um, he did something interesting because at that time in 1870, as you recall, Napoleon III, it was the end of the Second Empire, got defeated by Prussia. And um, a lot of men came home, they didn't have jobs. And so George Buller decided to hire mostly men in Tours who had lost their jobs to design uh, this park. So of course the city of Tours was all in favor of that. If you've just joined, we are in Tours, in the beautiful Jardin des Prébandes. I'm going to walk towards that kiosk à musique, the music kiosk, music kiosk or gazebo, where, well, in a normal year, on Sunday mornings, you would have a band playing. Look at this beautiful gazebo. very well maintained you can see so biodiversity is a big deal here and they really take care of all these trees the park was landscaped with a variety of trees from around the world some of them are very rare and everything was done in a special way you can tell a lot of thinking went into the way they designed this garden so basically les tourangeaux the people of tours and les tourangelles would be able to enjoy this park and nature in the 19th century was very different from let's say what happened in the 17th century when uh, Louis XIV designed Versailles with uh, with all his team they were trying to control nature 19th century very different approach nature is meant to be enjoyed and they don't try to control it that's the English style garden. Beautiful. So lucky. Now this will not be a very long walk. I just wanted you to, to see this. As you know, we have another stroll planned later this week in Paris. And I will mention that later. But here are more elements of the English style garden. You have a little bridge. You have a pond or a lake. Isn't this pretty? 
And of course, we have the signs that are common in a lot of French parks. And uh, that sign says here, pelouse interdite. It's prohibited to step on the grass. You see that in Paris as well. But in other sections, it's allowed. As long as you don't play soccer or damage the grass, they let you get away with it. You see, they design islands. And in the middle of these islands are very unique trees. These are cedars, I believe. Um, there is one over there that has a very interesting story, a sequoia. And I will, as, as we wrap up on the other side, I will tell you about it. If you took the stroll in December, you know that Tours is not as famous as other towns and cities in the Loire Valley, which is a shame. Here is another sign. This one says, pelouse autorisée, jeu de ballon interdit. So that's what I was saying. You know, on the other side, you can't play on the grass, but in this one, you can. As long as you don't play soccer, you don't use balls, you're fine. Now the sun is shining, so I'm not going to complain about that, but it's blinding me. Um, there is art around the gardens, Le Jardin des Prébandes. Uh, there are a few statues that uh, celebrate local sons or people who lived in Tours. This is uh, Le Général Meunier. Le Général Meunier was an officer, but he was also a very uh, renowned scientist and mathematician. And he was unfortunately killed uh, during one of the uh, battles he joined uh, during the Revolutionary Wars uh, following the French Revolution, General Meunier. So they put the statue up here to celebrate him. Bienvenue to Tours, if you've just joined us. Tours in the Loire Valley. Bonjour, bonjour, I see you. If you've missed the beginning of the stroll, you can watch the replay. It will be up as soon as I stop the live stream. Here's an interesting little fountain here. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of space in this park. And of course, the beautiful real estate I was mentioning, such coveted real estate all around the park the gazebo or the kiosk à musique we just saw. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell. The trees smell so good here. Look at this guy. Quite unusual. He's just standing there. Let's go this way and then I'll wrap around on this bridge. See, when I said it's been raining, I'm not lying. And it's easy to uh, actually imagine what this place was like in the 17th, 18th century and before. It was swampy. And uh, I can see the water is not draining very well. You could think you're in a forest, but we are in the heart of one of the most renowned cities in the Loire Valley, Tours. And because it's a, an English style garden, very romantic, you have those little structures that keep popping up when you least expect them to, like this. And this brings to mind the type of urban furniture you see in Parisian parks as well from the 19th century. The light is glorious. Yeah, you can hear the gravel. I see. Look how tall these trees are. It 
So remember this park was designed in the 1870s. It's been here since. That's one of my uh, favorite structures I spotted earlier when I was walking around here. More art with a little island in the middle here. This is a piece, a structure, a sculpture, I guess. Look how perfect this is. You can see through it. Do you recognize this gentleman? This is Leopold Sédar Sangor, who was a, a gentleman who was born in Senegal and was a statesman in Senegal. In fact, at the end of his career, became the president of the Republic of Senegal. But he was also a statesman in France and he was a professor and he taught in, in one of the prestigious high schools in Tours for three years and he loved this garden. He wrote a poem about it. And so they decided to have this uh, statue, this sculpture by Michel Audiard, who is a local sculptor, to honor him. His name was Léopold Sédar Sangor. This is beautiful. It's like he's still in the middle of the park he loved so much. You can see the park through him. Another example of those photos they have showing you what the park looked like in the late 19th, early 20th century. And if you look at this bridge here, you see people on the bridge at the time feeding swans, a family, two kids, gentlemen and a lady. And it was already a family park, it still is. And then you can see what the bridge looks like today with the beautiful buildings behind it. And it keeps going. It's not extremely large, but it's a good sized park. I'm sure it helps in the summer, provides shade and and a lot of the trees have signs, so you can learn about trees and biodiversity. You see this one? So a lot of them are labeled like this. Let's cross the bridge, shall we? Who's coming? They are locals too. Les canards. My friend Jeanne Lacan is going to be so mad that I didn't bring her along and she stayed at the rental apartment. She could have met those guys. They're so funny. Three ladies on the right, three gentlemen on the left. Look at them. Perfectly lined up. Are we about to dance? Maybe not. Glorious light, quite unexpected. Very rainy week in northern France, Paris everywhere. <laughs> There's a dog here who wishes, who wishes he could go and catch one of the ducks. Look at him. Please let me go. I want to catch one of these. Please let me go. Woof, woof, le chien. <laughs> and they are taunting him. I cannot wait to return here in the spring or summer to see what it looks like then. It's got to be glorious. You're welcome, friends. Glad you're enjoying this. Il fait froid de canard. Non, il ne fait pas un froid de canard. It's not that cold. Maybe because I'm bundled up. I don't think it's very cold. Yeah, I think so, Bruce. The dog was ready to go. 
example of the real estate around the garden, Le Jardin des Prébondes, like I mentioned earlier. Another little doggy here. I think I saw a sign at the entrance saying dogs were not allowed in the park, but like in many cities, I'm sure it's fine in the winter. There are not that many people around, and that's probably why we see dogs here today. Bamboo. I'll be wrapping up soon at the end of this little alleyway. One more thing to show you. Don't hide, son. Stay with us. How would you like to live in this building overlooking Le Jardin des Prébondes in Tours? They even have a balcony overlooking the garden. Recognize the little kiosk à musique or gazebo where we were earlier over there. I want to show you this tree, a sequoia. It's huge. It keeps going, 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 going. I hope I won't flip the thing. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, did it. This sequoia came from California in 1989. And it was a gift of the United States to France to commemorate the bicentennial a very important events in French and American history and to basically celebrate the friendship between France and the United States. So when I saw this earlier, I thought I had to come here because I know it's been a very important week in the United States uh, with the inauguration of the new president. And uh, I know President Macron had reached out to uh, the new American president right away to congratulate him. And it's great that we have this tree here that was planted here in 1989, transplanted, I should say, to commemorate that friendship between France and the US. There's a sign here that reminds you that Tour is also on the way to the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. And if you followed the live stroll we did in December, or if you are a Friends with Vero Club member and took the virtual tour, the exclusive virtual tour of Saint Gatien Cathedral, we talked a lot about that. The part that tour has played in, the, in, in Christianity, really. It's been a pilgrimage site. It was a pilgrimage site for a really long time. So we're kind of back where we started at the entrance. I tried to give you a good idea or general feeling for the place. I didn't go to every single alleyway here, but I think you can picture what it's like now. Here's another structure or sculpture honoring a local son. It needs a little bit of TLC, but it is for a gentleman who is probably one of the most, or was one of the most renowned uh, French poets of the French Renaissance in the 16th century. His name was Pierre de Ronsard. We've all studied him at school. If you went through the French school system, you did study Ronsard at one point or another in French class. So again, they show you what it looked like when they inaugurated the site in the late 19th century. This was actually later. It says 1924. So it's, it's old, but it's not quite as old as the park. They've probably added a few sculptures after that. And you can see that it needs a little bit of TLC now. Here is uh, Pierre de Ronsard, the poet. Time to say a quick hello. 
Hello friends, bonjour. I'm glad you could join me today. I see we have about 125 of you. That's amazing for the middle of the week or end of the week, I should say. Early morning with no warning. So thanks for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this stroll uh, in the Jardin des Prébandes in Tours. Now remember, we have a date on Sunday in Paris. I am going to take you uh, to the new, the new and improved the Place de la Bastille, the Bastille Square. Now, the weather forecast is ghastly. Uh, they're talking about rain and snow and possibly high winds. So I sure hope I can do this uh, stroll, this tour. Uh, so try and meet me if you can on Sunday. It'll be at 4 p.m. Paris time, which if you are in the U.S. is 7 a.m. Um, PST or 10 a.m. EST, if I'm correct. So hopefully you can join me then. It would be fun. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and go on because I have another thing to do before I leave tour tomorrow. And uh, the next time I will see you will be in uh, in paris on sunday so another one last peek at the beautiful jardin des prébandes in tours again if you want to know more about tours you should head to the replay of the live stroll i did here either here on facebook in the video section or on my youtube channel friends with vero in the replay playlist and then you will find it and i think you will enjoy it Voila! Isn't life en Provence beautiful? Provence, every place outside Paris, peaceful and nice and civilized. A bientôt les amis!